What's up, guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours rule, of course, the Descarender. And today we're going up against my very good friend and brother, Xenon. And, um, yeah, this guy, this guy, Alish, is one of those battlers that I tend to have a lot of troubles with. We play really similar, and it turns out to be a, <laughs> like, actually a good battle because of that. Uh, we definitely are in each other's mind of uh, when we're doing decisions. Um, the only way for me of actually really, really bringing a good game to him due to I know that this guy is a very good late game is for me to actually do major damage early on, play real aggressive and hope that it pays off. It's a very strange concept but that is really, that, that is all I got for strategy when it comes against him because I, I can't win him by brains alone late game, it's, it's just not possible. And look at his team here, we've got Magmar, Velossum, Luxray, Weezing, Swallow, and Deferret. So both Magmar and Ferret are previously major threats that have destroyed me, so I really love fearing those two, Magmar in particular, because Magmar can do a lot of damage to actually all of my team, really. Yeah, I'm going to use Ninjask, Lapras, Meganium, Rhydon, um, ah, oh, Fox Pokemon, yeah, Firefox, call that, and uh, the Mummy Pokemon. I have no idea what their names are, I call them Justin and Obsidian. But anyway, I knew that Ninjas was a definitely a winning condition because he could outspeed everything on his team. But I have a dig on this and it will do some effective damage against Magmar, and that is really my safest bet on it. But you got Blossom, Weezing Swallow, who resists that or are totally immune to it. So if they aren't gone, I can't win. So, I really have to keep that in mind. I'm just gonna start with Ninjas here. I'm really hoping for him to start off with either Magmar or the Ferret, and by default, hoping to get some momentum. So, with all this in mind, guys, let's go. So, right, let's get to go. You know, I'm really lucky here. He's gonna start with Ferret. Uh, I knew I was faster. There is no way he can outspeed me, even with Scar. So, I'm just gonna go for a U turn and go into my Lapras, hoping for him to go for an Aqua Tail. Because I know an Aqua Tail is a well of War Absorb and whatnot, which is great. But also, if it went for Double Edge, then the residual damage on the Lapras, which has a lot of HP, will kill the Ferret. And having Ferret gone takes away a lot of annoying stuff for me. So it does go for Double Edge, which is unfortunate, but also it does, due to residual damage, takes out the Ferret. So that's a good thing. So the Ferret is gone, I got my revenge on that thing, which is great, extremely important. He's gonna bring his Virga, and uh, yeah, not in that Saki mood. I knew it potentially could go for a Volt Switch, and if so, then Foreign could wall that out. But he's gonna go for Super Power, which is a safer bet. It really is, and while I do you know, wall that completely, it still is like a lot of damage, but due to my... Um, I have a lot of males in my team, and that is Rivalry, which means that I can actually take those hits. So I'm just gonna go for Stealth Rocks, and um, because I need to wield down the Magmar. Magmar is still the major threat on this team, really, I can't do anything while he's gone. He's gonna go for the Sludge Bomb, I, I could predict the will o but he's actually gonna score the Poison. I was like, no, no, this can't be. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go for Dragon Tail and bring out the Swallow, which will take a good chunk of damage due to the Stealth Rocks and whatnot. And uh, judge by the name, I know that this is my specially offensive Swallow, or at least so I thought. But he will go for Fly. And uh, figure about it now, I mean, he said he was actually keeping that by move my mistake. But it's not such a bad play actually, because he is actually forcing me to stay in and take toxic damage. And uh, slowly actually killing my own uh, Rhydon, because Rhydon is a major response to a lot of his Pokemon. And... Uh, Due to him being poisoned, he's being whittled down, so while it can't do any significant damage to my Pokemon itself, it still, you know, falls slowly behind here with poison and whatnot. I'm not in a position now to take another superpower for, of course, the Veria or the Luxray. So he's gonna go to Blossom. I was really sure what's gonna finish me off here and just go for Giga Train or something like that. And since, like I said, it wasn't a position where I couldn't really keep it, I didn't see any point of um, switching it out. Uh, but he has to go for a sunny day, getting that horse is sunlight up, and I'm just gonna go for Dragon Tail. Like I said, I didn't think I was gonna survive. But in combination with, of course, the Rocky Helmet from the Blossom, hello, <laughs> I'm actually gonna bring out the Weezing, and the poison will, of course, take me out due to the combination. Rocky Helmet Blossom, really? Never in a million years would I think about that, ever. 
that is why Alex is such a big pocket tuber. It's that simple. He's got so many good ideas. So anyway, I'm gonna bring my obsidian here. And the reason I actually went for this was because I really thought I could tank a few hits here and uh, actually come out on top. But I didn't really count for Fire Blast. Uh, Fire Blast does, you know, the definition so much damage is not enough with the Sunny Day going. I'm just gonna go for Pain Split here. Um, hoping really that I would recover more. And uh, that is not gonna happen, so I have to switch out. So I'm gonna switch out to Justin. Be in the um, fire Pokemon. I'm sorry, the Delphox Lesser Evolution. We call it Delphox. Brexian. It's called Brexian. I got it. So, anyway, gonna not tank that Fire Blast that well. And uh, really, I have no offensive move on these Pokemon. And um, I was really hoping he's gonna switch out. Fear in the fire move, but he's gonna stay in here. And uh, what well, do you know? Another Toxic or Poison. And I was like, oh man, this can't do. This just won't work for me. And um, basically, my my Brixian is it's down by the count too. That Sludge Bomb did so much damage. I mean, I got Evil Eyes on this thing, and that is not showing, not at all. So anyway, he's gonna go to his Magmar. I was really hoping that he was physical. He's gonna go for Focus Blast, and oh my God, this is gonna kill because Brixian is just a Fire type, not Fire and Psychic. So, yeah, I didn't get to showcase that much. Uh, so I'm gonna just go into Obsidian, hoping that he's going for an overheat, forcing him really to lose special attack. Uh, there is no way this Ghost Pokemon can do anything throughout this battle anyway. So what was a 6-4 is now a 4-4. I'm losing a lot of Pokemon here, but it's just because I got so few responses. I still got the Weezing out, which is awesome, and Swallow is gone, which means it's only got the... Um... um the Belossum we can take an Earthquake, and uh, that is kind of annoying. Uh, so I just go for Earthquake here because I really, really was hoping that if we was going to go for a Substitute or anything like that. Um, I was really just betting on maybe surviving over it too. And now I knew it was going to switch out. There is no reason for him not doing so, so I just went for Dragon Tail. And the reason I did that was because I knew that I couldn't really get him to set up another uh, Sunny Day or anything like that. Plus I really needed the damage on this Pokemon. So, I didn't really care for it that much. But anyway, um, he, he's gonna bring in the, um, the Luxray. And at this point, I was really thinking that I can't outspeed, I can't risk the damage here. I might as well take off my um, my Lapras, which is now coming back again. And he is actually knowing that I can't outspeed. And go and switch out to his Blossom. So, not the best of switches. But I knew, like I said there, that I can't risk the, um, him actually going for another Sunday day. So just went for eye shot, it just barely, barely takes it out. And uh, yeah, that was awesome. That was great, because now a Ninjas is free to go, of course, for the moves that is dig, if it comes to that, because both of his Pokemon are weak to ground here. They've both got Magmar and Luxray. He's going for the Volt Switch here, but due to rivalry, and even with a crit, it is not enough to take out Lapras. And I was so surprised by this, because I was betting on that happening. Because I knew we had a chance, or he had a chance here to set up a substitute. He's still in that range, so I couldn't risk it. I went for Surf here, because, I, like I said, there was no way I could risk that happening. But, luckily for me, he goes for the overheat instead, instead of setting up a substitute. And like I said, even so, I still went for Surf, which it is the correct play. So I'm just going to go to Jade here, and I'm going to showcase that I got the dig, but we're pretty much betting on him going for the substitute to try to wall me out. And um, yeah, over it of course missing, and the dig will of course be enough. But one does not simply touch the Malamar, so his body is ready, and he's gonna set up that flame body on me. And that of course really sucks. Uh, but at least I got revenge on this Magmar 2, which is awesome, but it came at a high price. The prize of not being able to do my fully invested damage. And that issue that is that is that even though I go for a dig here and really, really collecting my strength with the Ninjask, it's not gonna be enough to kill the, this Pokemon, the Luxray. And he's gonna retaliate with the Wild Charge. And due to, um, well, Ninja is not really having that much HP, the recall damage will not be enough to kill the Luxray. It holds on with 5 HP, so the last matchup is Aromet against Luxray, and... 
I am actually able to outspeed and going to finish this battle with the pedal blister, just finish it off really. So that was actually a really close game and like I said, I did play extremely, extremely aggressive to get some momentum and Xenon just finds his way back. He is so cool in these battles and he's just, he play, does the right plays and really, really he knows how to keep himself alive and it turned out to be a 1-0 because of that, so GG Xenon, GG. So looking back in this battle, um, there were definitely a few incidents where Xenon could have turned this battle around and definitely the part where I Dragon Tail his uh, Belasso when he switched out his Magmar had the Dragon Tail brought the Magmar in it would have been very likely that I would have lost something and being that Ninjas couldn't take out the um, Luxray after the dig of the burn it seems very likely that he, he could have turned his battle around and even worse is that if he goes for um, like if it went for a sunny day and did not risk the Blossom like it did, it could squid through my team due to the Pokemon I left. And a Blossom with uh, the Chlorophyll going is actually faster than Ninjask. And that is terrifying. And it got Weather Balls and moves like that. So it's it, it's not far from it. He, he was like one good turn away from actually winning against me. While it doesn't look that way, it still it, it kind of stands as it is. I had a very few options to win in this battle, and um, I took the few options I had to turn this battle in my favor, and the momentum in the beginning really helped out. Uh, Sinon did a way, way better comeback that I could have deal with, and uh, I just it was luck, basically, for me to win the last matchup. It was a matchup that won this battle, nothing more, and uh, Sinon was definitely as worth a winner as I was throughout this battle, and I was really glad I got the chance to battle him. Well, on his potential break. Um, so I'm gonna leave the link to Porsche's channel on down below because you guys don't know who this guy is, right? He's just the guy to follow. And uh, so definitely, seen on from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for this battle. I had a lot of fun, and I hope to battle you soon again. Um, so anyway, guys, I want to thank you all for watching, of course. And uh, if you like this battle, make sure to leave a like. If it's new to this channel, what's up? And remember, the sky's the limit, guys. So good day and take care, right? Bye.